Welcome everybody to the top 10 most beautiful anime that aren't movies. My name is Misty Slosh and there's a lot of anime that are absolutely stunning to look at. Most of them, however, tends to be animated movie. Why? Well, normally it comes down to budget. Movies get a much higher clearance, money-wise, than a TV series, so that can often lead to cutting corners on them and a lot less Sakuga moments. Oh, a Sakuga animation is basically a, the money shot where everything is animated, it flows super well and it nearly got that 60 FPS finish. But despite some restrictions, certain anime TV series goes above and beyond when it comes to visual. So here's a list of anime who have completely smite me with their visuals. And who knows, maybe you'll enjoy those eye candies as well. But before we go in, oh god, here it comes. Hey, New Angle, well, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is the Gaumon PD1560 tablet. If you're an artist or if you do a lot of visual stuff that requires you to have precise handicraft on a computer, you will appreciate this bad boy a ton. I received it in the mail and ever since then it cut my workload by half the time. If you go on softwares like Photoshop and uh, you have the pen that has like multiple sensitivity level, allows you to be super precise and then just go ahead and do the big stuff. So if you want to get one for yourself, Check the link in the description, it has all the details that you will want to have. Also come with a super slick glove that allows you to not smudge your screen, so if you're interested in all that, it has a super competitive price as well, and uh, it works works great. I made, I made a lot of cool stuff with it, so uh, try it out. Number 10, Hokago no Play Ads. While this one might definitely not be a crowd favorite, it really connected with me in 2015 when it got released. During the spring, a lot of incredible titles came out and this particular one stood out for me. The story follows our main character, Subaru, a young girl with an appeal for space, or more precisely, meteor showers. During a fate encounter, Subaru meet up with an old friend of hers and she gets invited in their club. Said club has an alien life form and they have to collect pieces of its spaceship. Now bestowed with the power of witches, they fly around looking for hints. The anime has the episodic format which will focus on one girl at a time and eventually has the girls come out on top. Story is a bit bland with the heavy moe overtone but the visuals are stunning and that is the point of this list. Number 9, Concrete Revolution, from the studio who brought you Full Metal Alchemist, My Hero Academia, and Noragami is another all-in-your-face anime, Concrete Revolution. It doesn't have the same notoriety in the previous ones because it's pretty niche and hit or miss. The story is about superhumans. Jiro recruits them for an agency until one day he goes rogue and the people he once recruited now hunt him down. The morality of the enemy reminded me heavily of the main plot in X-Men, how super mutants are chastised in society. Visually it's very stimulating, but the art style might be slightly outside of the box on this one for some people. Season 1 was a bit weaker, but if you stick all the way through season 2, that's where it pays out. Number 8. Genesis of Aquarian. Look, I got no higher power on this one. My inner kid self is having the time of his life. You want to impress me visually? I just puke out a rainbow on the screen and I'll crave it like a trip to Disneyland. And well, this show does it masterfully. This anime started in 2005, we got a super slick show that was about mecha, action, romance with superpowers, everything I'm about. Then in 2012 we got a sequel, better visuals, more action, more romance and even more colors in your face. And then, and then logos happen, which is, well, probably the reason it's number 8. Uh, do yourself a favor and stop after Aquarian Evolve. Uh, that's the best one. Story is about, uh, think Evangelion with more colors. Chosen heroes selected to defend the Earth from invaders by piloting giant robot. In a nutshell, that's that's what it's about. <laughs> 
Number seven, flip flappers. I don't get how come there's not more people talking about flip flappers. From the soundtrack to the visual to even the story, everything is exciting in flip flappers. The story begins with two girls who are selected to go through different dimensions. This anime oozes of greatness. It's so malleable, adaptable. Every episode is a different genre. You go from action adventure to legit horror within one episode. Every time they travel to a new location, you're left wondering what's going to happen next, and the anime constantly barrage you with whimsical visual. The immersion is amazing, and I have nothing but praises for this anime. I hope you can try it out and stick with it until the end, because while it does have a uh, what's going on kind of beginning, it pays out tremendously at the end. I don't know, it's my two cents, your call. Number 6, Kyokai no Kanata. This anime is nothing but warmies. Do you think I tried too hard to put this word into the dictionary? The premise follows a girl, Mirai, who's a spirit world warrior and she hunts down a monster called Yomu. She finds a half-breed on the school rooftop and it turns out to be one of her classmates, but it also turns out he's immortal. So from that point, Mirai constantly tries to murder him while he himself convinces her to join the literary club. In that club is also two fellow spirit world warriors. If this premise leaves you lukewarm, I'd still want to insist on telling you how good of a show it is. The anime was made by Kyoto Animation, which is probably one of the best company when it comes down to visuals alone. They spend years fine-tuning details before it is actually released, so you can bet your pretty butt they delivered in the end. Try this one out. Number 5, Kyoso Giga. In this version of Kyoto, there is humans and yokais, or well, monsters, who live alongside each other. Above it all is three beings who watch over everything. One day, a girl waltz in with her two brothers and they're looking for their mothers. And it's unclear whether she's a human or a yokai herself. Intruding inside the city upsets the balance and, well, the rest you'll have to watch for yourself. Regardless, this anime is an outstanding tour de force that I think you can appreciate both story-wise and visually. I mean, the art style just keep improving episode after episode and it never ends. What I also appreciate from this anime is how niche it is, so if you like to brag to your friends about obscure anime that are good, uh, sneak this one in. Number 4, Hyoka. I think the beauty in Hyoka lays in the sober visuals of the show. Everything comes off as monochrome and once in a while you'll have that spark of contrast that plays in tenfold in comparison with the rest. Hyoka is an anime about a literature club and the mystery surrounding it. One day, Oriki, a listless laid-back student, gets dragged in an investigation about a 45-year-old mystery about the club room. Join with three other students, that, that's like a full RPG party, they must use their wits and talent to uncover hints about it. It could seem dull on paper, but if you give it a few episodes, you'll be mesmerized by either the mystery or the captivating visuals. Either way, you ain't coming back on scat from this one. <laughs> Number 3, Nagi no Asukara. Nagi no Asukara is probably one of the anime that had an impact on my personal life beyond being just good entertainment. Its inner core values is something I keenly connect with and as an added bonus, it has beautiful visual to boot too. The story is about fish peoples, F fishes people, I, I never know the difference, who lives in the sea, kind of like mermaids. Mermans, whichever. One day, a few students end up on the shore and are forced to attend a normal school for normal people. But upon entering the class, they soon find out that they're being ostracized and they're constantly segregated from other classmates because of the racial status. It kind of speak about our culture a few years back, how some people were pretty racist and whatnot. 
I don't know, it really struck a chord with me, and I hope you can appreciate the genuineness of this anime. Or, or you know, pretty colors. Number 2, Violet Evergarden. One of the currently airing anime, if you watch this video as it's been released, and who knows, maybe in the end the show will turn to crap, but on the off chance it didn't, this list will still be relevant. Violet Evergarden is a story about a refurbished auto memory doll that was used in the military as quote unquote the weapon. But now she has left said military and works in a postal office delivering letters. She wants to learn the meaning of some words that were left for her. Just like Kyokai no Kanata, this anime was made by Kyoto Animation. And well, you can see it with the clips, it's absolutely jaw dropping. So if you like a story that's about soul searching, I think you should consider this anime. It's pretty light hearted and that's okay sometimes, it's alright to sit out and unwind. <laughs> And finally, number one, Fate Unlimited Blade Works. People often joke and call this anime Fate Unlimited Budget Works because, well, it does benefit from an incredible patronage and that reflects in the visuals. The Fate franchise has been going on for over a decade, with many spin-offs and alternate route, as you can think, and if you enjoy the Fate Zero, this is right up your alley. If you never heard of Fate before, well, think of it as some kind of historical battle royale featuring some of the greatest warriors of her lore. I would give you some names, but that in itself is a bit spoilery. Masters and Servant join together to fight against another team and the strongest win it all for the Holy Grail. It's a fantastic anime, both visually and story-wise, so if you never experienced it before, now's the time to jump in. So let's just jump into it. I'll admit this list is anything but fair, there's hundreds of beautiful TV animation and I could go on for days about the shows like Ancient Magus Bride or No Game No Life or Planetarian, but that's all the time that I had today folks. However, as a quick reminder, if you're an artist and you'd like to get yourself the Gaomon tablet, you'll find all the cool details about it in the description down below. Make sure to snatch one and use the coupon code PD1560GM before the end of February. There's not much time left, but it will cut you 4% off of your order. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you found something interesting to watch. And if not, maybe you can be one of the cool kids to recommend extra titles for those who've seen everything like you. I'll see you next time. Ah. Times I've been on the wrong side, I've been ashamed So many memories, you know I'd like to change yeah.